Hi guys, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new, welcome. So we are in a graduation month. So I wanna go ahead and show you how to create this simple but classy graduation. So the first thing we're going to do is go to file, click on new, and we are going to set our dimension to four inches in width and height is five. Make sure your background is set to white. Go ahead and click on create. Now we want to set our background. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my adjustments and then I'm going to choose a solid color. You can use whatever color you want. I'm going to set it to a darker blue. Next, I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop in this background. Now you need to click on your move tool to activate your transform. You can see that my show transform control and auto select is on. If you have an older version, make sure that when you click on your image, go to edit, transform and click on scale to be able to scale your image. I'm just going to hold one and if you are on a newer version, you don't have to hold down shift to scale. But if you are on an older version, make sure you hold down shift. Now next, click on your layer and change the blend mode to soft light. The last thing we want to do to finish off our background is add a gradient effect. So go under your adjustments, click on gradient, and we want to change the style to radar, and then we want to reverse it. But with your scale, you want to decrease the effects of your gradient, and we want to go ahead and click on the color and change it. Now I'm using my eyedropper to pick the blue within my image. And I'm going to click on the far end and do basically the same thing. And I'm going to go ahead to click OK. So you can reduce your opacity as well as your fill. Now we are going to pick up our type tool and we are going to make sure that we choose a font that we like. I'm using the Operator 52 and I'm going to go ahead to type in G. Now I'm going to go ahead to bring in an image to infuse on top of it. And I'm going to hold down options and clip in between my image and my font. Now with this set, we want to make a duplicate so we can spell the word grad. So I'm going to hold down shift, select both my image and my font and I'm going to make a copy. So hold down command J, make a copy, and we are going to move this right here. I'm gonna make another copy, command J, and move this here. So now we just need to do a little bit of a shift here and there. So I'm going to select the D, and with my move tool, I'm going to set it down a little like that. I'm gonna pick up my shape tool, and I'm going to go ahead to draw a rectangle like that. And I'm going to go ahead and use the fill, fill that in with white. Now the stroke, I'm also going to set that to white and increase my stroke thickness to about a four. You really can see it. But when we go ahead and bring in our image and go ahead, scale it down. Now, if you want to keep your edges of your image straight, click on these points and set it to straight. This feature is only available with the newer versions of Photoshop. If you have an older version of Photoshop, you have to go into your property and the appearance, and then you can set the corners the way you want. Now with our image in place, we can click on image, adjustment, brightness, and contrast, and we can increase the contrast to bump up the color and the richness in our image. Now, you wanna obviously go ahead and type in the year of the graduate. So we are going to choose the Century Gothic. And now, the next thing that we are going to do is that we want to go ahead and type in the class. And with my move tool, I'm going to go ahead to rotate like that, and I'm going to set it in place. Now I'm going to turn on my A and G 
so I can see where this is in relation to the design. Double click on it and we are going to change the font style and we can go ahead under our VA and increase the spacing of the class off. Now, the next thing we want to do is to add the graduate's name. So pick up your type tool and we are going to use the script dinner. So with the graduate's name typed in, I'm going to go ahead to increase it a little. So you can go ahead and type in the location of the event and you can also add the times. So to finish it off, all you need to do is click on your top image, add a color lookup. So right click, click on your adjustment, add a color lookup, and then you can basically play with the different effects or the different textures to see how you want your final piece to look like. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye y'all.